It's as the old saying goes, my old chap. Fuck about and learn what for. Right, so the A7D, rank 6, but a ring 9.3, has a 21mm M61 cannon and AIM-9J, so also has 120 flares. Top speed of about 1,123, and this thing is an utter monster. So let me show you some gameplay of this thing today, and we'll discuss what happened in the intro. Well, g'day, g'day, welcome yourselves to the video. I hope you enjoyed the little intro there. I had fun making that one. Uh, this thing is just all birds. If you don't understand that, then you have to watch this gameplay because this is definitely a fun match that I had in the A7D. Now, it's not a bad aircraft, I will say. You've got an impressive bomb load and it has, certainly has the offensive armament for anything. And well, 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 look who it is. It is Deffen. Fantastic. I'm going to follow him around because he seems to know what he's doing. And the reason why I'm going to do that is going to be bloody obvious. He is a channel which dedicates himself to de gameplay. Now, any of you viewers who know who I am know that I don't necessarily play Jets particularly well. Stefan, on the other hand, seems to do magically well. So I thought, hmm, I wonder how long it would take him to recognize who I am. Well, he doesn't, actually. It wasn't until 20 minutes after this match had ended that he realized that I was, you know, following him. Anyway, funny story. And this thing gets attacker spawn, which is fantastic. However, I do wish that we got the fighter version, the F8, rather than the A7, but that'll probably come in due time, probably next year when we get proper guided ordnance and so on and so forth. Doesn't necessarily matter here. Attacker spawn is fantastic because this thing can sort of just go at its pace. And the fact that it comes with flares, aim 9 js and also you can equip 20mm or 30mm gun pods, depending on your preference. I've gone for 30s this round, but earlier I had 20s. And you can just see that this thing is really effective. Now, I'm pre-cooking a missile. Don't know why. I'm just being a bit of an idiot. Defen probably should have got kills on that guy, but that's okay. We went for a hit, but we're going to continue pushing on. He's gone for a dive. I'm just watching where he is. He's deployed his flares there. There is a Harrier here, and I want this Harrier dead. And lucky enough, I didn't take any damage. Because one thing I've noticed with this particular aircraft, well, you take one hit and this engine basically catches fire. That being said, one Harrier down isn't necessarily a good thing, but there are still more VTOLs in the area, that being the Yak-38 down here, and the other Yak-38, which is pushing uh, the boundaries. And again, I haven't quite gotten used to leading the guns. My gun targeting distance is set to about 400, and sometimes it can be set to 500. Now, I'm just going to drop the flares here just in case someone's following us. And we're going to beam out of here, Scotty, uh, and just fly away. No, I'm not a Trekkie by any means, but we've got a Harrier behind us. And there is another aircraft that are approaching into our uh, area of operation. Defen goes left and I go right. And we're going to pull up and around and hopefully get the aircraft as close as we can to avoiding the incoming aircraft that are inbound for my booty. That being said, though, I do have a stock crew, so not exactly the greatest thing, but we're lucky because we unlock right as a Yank-38 is coming head on with us. That could have nearly ended fatally. And there is an F5 as well. Come on, can we get the head on with him? Fantastic, that's three kills. And that's really all you need to know about this particular machine. Now, it's about avoiding a missile. So here we go, we've got an F5 on our six. Could have easily taken that. The missile luckily flies directly away from us. Thankfully, this thing doesn't have an afterburner, so it doesn't really get hit as often. However, it does catch fire increasingly easy. And as you can see, we're really in the thick of it right now. I'm going to get hits on this Yank-38. No, probably not. Defen's running around killing things. Most likely going to get his third and fourth kill, maybe. I don't know. Who knows? Absolute god that he can be. Now, there's Yank-38. I still have two air, -air missiles, so I probably could use these on targets. There's a Harrier down there that I'll kind of want to kill. Harry is the bane of this thing. You find Harry is at any capacity. We've got a critical hit on him. Don't necessarily take him out. I couldn't avoid committing to the rest of the head on there. It's already dangerous enough as is. As you can see, he is critical damaged. 
Come on, Def and get the kill. There he goes. Good lad. Fantastic. And as you can see, this aircraft is rather effective when you can force a head-on with any aircraft that is chasing you, or engaging you for that matter altogether. Now, Def is chasing an F5. I'm going to pull around and play the support role as much as you can do. At this point in time, I don't think I necessarily get any more kills, so let's talk about the aircraft. I have tried to belly land this thing. It's a little unstable because of the way that the wings are sitting so high up on the fuselage, it's prone to tipping a little bit. The landing gear itself is okay, but not exactly greatest thing on Earth. The handling of the aircraft itself is rather lackluster, although I will say it does perform decently when you put it up to the task. However, with no real way to sort of combat your enemy team, it is increasingly important that you use this as a support fighter. This thing is great for ground ordnance, don't get me wrong. It is fantastic for killing aircraft and for killing tanks. I have yet to try this on the live server, but when this thing was on the dev server, I did manage to kill quite a few number of tanks. T-72s, T-90s, T-80s. The, the works. Any, any, anything and everything can be killed by those 30mm because they're up, absolutely fantastic. And we're just going to follow Deffin in here because why not? He seems to be going after AAA. Of course, you know, increase your earnings with... Uh, <laughs> by killing grain units, that sounds about right. Oh, Nelly hit the control tower there on the way through. What a fantastic maneuver, I guess. But yes, she is an absolute heavy bastard, and with one player left, there isn't really much to do aside from activate a booster. Now, oh, I had a bit of a blind moment here, but I couldn't remember which one it was, so I just activated Avenger because that's really the best one that I possibly could do. Turns out he was in a Vatua all the way over the other side of the map. And being a subsonic aircraft, this thing tends to do pretty well. It's almost like a Mirage in a way, except the Mirage is probably a little bit better off because of its magic missiles. Speaking of which, I know this thing is the A7, and it would be fantastic to see the F8 in-game, but there is a reason why it's designated A7, because it's an attacker aircraft. We got the fighter version, the F8, later down the line. I'm sure it would have your missiles that we see later in-game, or that we already have in-game, maybe some other guidance systems or what have you. But I don't think that's really a case, although it would be interesting to see the French version of the F8 as well. Because that was leaked into a video a few years ago, and maybe this was the model from that, I'm not entirely sure. What I'm trying to say here is, an F-8 is the fighter version of this particular aircraft, with magics would be an utter nightmare. Especially for considering the fact that the F-8 did have a, I, I guess it was a controllable thrust vector, so almost an afterburner, but not quite. Not entirely sure, and as you can see, everyone's chasing this Vatua. Come on, Deffen, get the last kill on the match. Come on. You can do it. I'm going to try firing missiles and see how that does. One. Fox one. Well, technically Fox two. And we're going to fire another one. Fox two. Right, I don't necessarily think we're going to make it. And look at look at all the missiles coming in for that Vatua. Absolutely hilarious. And really, that's about it. Someone else is going to get the kill, but that doesn't necessarily matter. So, if you haven't checked out Deffen's channel, I highly recommend you do so. I'll leave a link in the description somewhere down below, maybe in the pinned comment, uh, who knows. And if you want to see some more War Thunder videos, I've got plenty. I've got a Best of Ash Moments 2020, if you want to go see that. That's a whole heap of moments from the channel that have been increasingly fun and entertaining moments. Also got a Strange Laugh Track video where, yes, <laughs> my asthma-inducing laugh is... Apparently funny to some of you. And yeah, I do read my comments religiously. It's quite it's quite a bad thing to do. I've got a bad habit of reading my comment section. A lot of you are quite civilized people. For example, my buccaneer video, you're going off at me for using the vehicle as a anti-air primary role, which it wasn't. And it's it's a nuclear strike aircraft. It was it was the buccaneer is essentially just a British attack plane, but what can you have? You know, you can't really have fun because Air RB is essentially the same old team deathmatch for the last seven years. It, you really can't win with any of these people. So, let me just put it to you. Are you enjoying the content? If not, that's okay. But the A7, certainly a lot better than the Buccaneer, I can tell you this much. This is my favourite aircraft of this patch. Slowly, but slowly working through the remainder of the aircraft that I have left to unlock. There's too many to go. Uh, I've got like 32 or something along those lines, but I'll get there in due time. Anyway, thank you very much for watching uh, today's video. I've waffled on long enough. There you go, three kills, one ground unit. Same as Deffen, really. <laughs> and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.